There's a place rage deep in the woods. Beyond the pet cemetery. It brings things back. This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today, I'll be looking at Pet Cemetery, an adaptation of Stephen King's horror classic about a doctor who unwisely uses supernatural means to resurrect his child, and a film that serves as a scathing indictment of the way physicians recklessly play God by resuscitating dead patients without even considering the very real financial and emotional burden a comatose loved one might place upon family members. Pet Cemetery follows Dr. Lewis Creed, the patriarch of a family in Maine who uses the mysterious burial ground near his home to reanimate his dead daughter, only to discover she has returned as a horrifying, malevolent spirit. Much as my elderly father's doctors created an abomination when they brought him back as a lifeless vegetable. Directors Kevin Kolsch and Dennis Widmeyer weave a terrifying but deeply human story that will be instantly recognizable to those, like me, who have seen the hubris of trying to cheat death, whether that death is caused by a demonically possessed cat or a brain aneurysm during your 85-year-old dad's senior fitness class. I'm sure it's, it's easy for doctors like Lewis Creed to play the hero with their defibrillators or magical graveyards or what have you. Who cares if they saddle a family with an exhausting and expensive burden that they'll be dealing with for God knows how long. Indeed, as the film's poster so wisely reminds us, sometimes dead is better. God, I, I wish my dad could just be at peace. All I want is for the hospital staff to just take him off the respirator and let him slip away into the night. It's a testament to Jason Clark's performance that every time I looked at him, I couldn't help but be reminded of my father's own attending physician, Dr. Sidney Blumenfeld. Indeed, I spent much of the film's runtime wishing that it was Dr. Sidney himself who was spending every waking moment terrorized by satanic forces for meddling in the natural course of life. Ultimately, Pet Cemetery functions as a, a serviceable reboot. Oh, sorry. Oh, I should take this. Hello. Yes. He's up? Oh, that's great, that's great. No, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I'll be right over. I just have something to wrap up here and I'll be over. Thank you. Well, Dad, apparently you're going to pull through. So, uh, listen, if you ever watch this, just forget what I said back there. Maybe I was a little bit premature with all that taking you off the respirator talk. In fact, how about this? Maybe once you're out of the hospital, you and I can sit down and watch Pet Cemetery together. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.